been getting really excited for the new Apple Pencils, and I've been thinking about what more I could do with them. I'm not much of an artist. Really, the Apple Pencil right now, I use it to edit videos and edit podcasts with. I don't do too much with it. I used to do a lot of handwritten notes, and I kind of want to get back to that. So I've been thinking of a way to build some sort of automatic journal using shortcuts. Now, I know there's a lot of apps out there for that, but I've been really into shortcuts, and I kind of wanted to do another tutorial, and I think there's a lot of interesting stuff in here that even if you're not into journaling, you can get a lot out of. Now, if you are into digital journaling, this is going to be really cool because it's going to basically build an automatic journal for you and you're just going to be able to write in it, save it, it's, it's just like basically flipping a new page in a notebook. It's going to be really simple. Um, so I'm really kind of excited to get into this. There's going to be a couple of things we need to do. We need to build some templates, though, and it's going to call these files. So let's take a look here really quick. This app right here is called GoodNotes. This is for PDF markups and no notations and things like that. I built these templates right here. They're very basic. So as you can see, this is an 8.5 by 11 document. It just has two sections, what I need to do today, a new idea and I can fill these out. You can build any template you want. I just recommend that it's a PDF file. You can use any application, anything you want. I just built these in GoodNotes. Um, I have this eight and a half by 11 one right here. I also have a four by three option as well. So if you prefer writing in landscape on the iPad, or if you prefer writing in portrait on the iPad, I also have a blank one right here as well. I'm gonna make sure I have links to these in the description below so you can just download them. But it's pretty simple to build. Um, you just need something that can make a PDF. Um, I recommend GoodNotes, but you can use, again, anything that you need to build a PDF with. Um, what's nice about GoodNotes is you can come in here to more options, change paper template, and you can kind of come through here and change the different styles of paper that you want. So if you don't want like grid paper or something, I personally like grid paper because I have really terrible handwriting. As you guys are going to find out here in a bit, please don't judge too much of my handwriting. It is really bad. So yeah, these are just my templates. Um, the one thing that we need to do is we need to save them. So if you come over here to export, we're going to export the current page. We'll leave them as PDF. We want the background to be normal. You can just remove the background color if you want just white paper, if you want to blank so it's absolutely nothing at all. I recommend having some lines, but everyone can do it their own way. Um, you could turn off export an annotations if you want. You could change the file name, though I recommend uh, just for the purpose of this, I would leave it just called journal or journal template, Just but journal would probably be best. So we're going to hit export here. We're going to select iCloud Drive. And I already saved mine, but we need. But when you go to save yours, you go to iCloud Drive. You got to save it to the shortcuts folder, and then hit Add. I've already saved mine there. In fact, we're, we're just going to replace mine. So if you haven't saved it already, you won't get the style log box. But I'm going to hit replace, so it'll save it there. So I'm going to show you guys what that is. So if we come over here to iCloud Drive shortcuts, we have this journal template right here. And what our shortcut is going to do is it's going to call this template every single time we run it. So let's go into shortcuts. So if, if you're lost, I, I promise this will all make sense here in just a bit. But so that document is our template for our journal. You can build that template any way you want. I recommend having a PDF document, but yeah, you can, you can do it any way you want. So we're gonna do get file here. We're gonna do uh, service iCloud drive, but we're not gonna show the document picker because we are going to call that doc, that same document every single time. Um, if you wanted to have different documents that you could call for different occasions, you could build a menu with different Git files in there if you wanted, and then you could select which file you want, but I only have the one, so we're gonna just do this one. Um, so I'm gonna do journal dot PDF. And it's important that the extension is lowercase. Um, if it's if it's capitalized, it won't recognize it. So now if we run the shortcut right here, it pulls the document. Great. But that doesn't really give us what we need. So we're going to do markup. And what this will do is if we run it now, is it'll bring it up in a way that we can mark it up. So that's great. We can do this. Fantastic. But it doesn't really do anything with it. It doesn't save it or do do anything that we need. So we're going to do save file. I'm going to select the service Dropbox. Any of these like Dropbox or something like that, how you write out the file path is you, you go forward slash and then type in the folder. So in my case, it's documents slash personal slash journal. So that that right there and then i'm gonna put one more slash right there so that's where it's going to save it so it's going to save it to documents folder personal then journal like it that's that's the folder path um but we need to have it save a name so we're going to get set name 
I'm going to call it journal.pdf. But if we do this, it would overwrite it, our previous ones every single time. Down here at the very bottom, we're going to use this variable called get date. And what this will do is it'll get the current date. Um, it gives us a couple options right here. It gives us the date format and the time format. We're going to leave the date format as medium because that'll show the day and the month and the year. That's fine. But we're going to set the time format to none because we don't really care about the time. We're only going to write in this probably once a day. If you do want to write in multiple times, then I'd probably leave the time format. So we're going to set that to none. And then I'm just going to put a dash in there so it's it's kind of saves it. Now what our shortcut does is it'll get the file journal.pdf. It'll let us mark it up. Then it'll save it with this name to this folder. So let's go ahead and run this. We can just type test. I know this is atrocious, but it's hard to do while I'm It's hard to do while you're doing a screencast. So we're going to hit done. And it'll save it. So now if we come over here, okay, so this is the journal folder we made. You can see I already made one for today, and I have one for yesterday. So it put a one at the end. That's okay. If you normally do it, it won't be that way. But you can see it saved it right there. Um, again, it's it's in this kind of weird way because it's an 8.5 by 11 document, but my iPad is in landscape right now. So, yeah. If you do want to constantly keep using your iPad in the landscape uh, version, I would recommend using the landscape template. This one right here. It's fine for right now. And honestly, most of the time when I do write on these things, I, I take my iPad off the keyboard case and I write in portrait. So we're going to hit done. Go back into shortcuts. Okay. So that's great. It gets the file, lets us mark it up. It does that. But what if we like maybe wanted to look at yesterday so we can see what we expected to do yesterday and then maybe we can kind of double check to make sure we actually did do it. So we could have it pull up that file, and since we know the file name, it's going to be consistent every single time it does it. We could have shortcuts automatically pull it up. So let's get date here, and then we're going to do adjust date. We're going to have it subtract, and I'm just tapping on each one of these options. Subtract one day. So now it'll get the current date and then subtract one day from it. Then it's going to get file. We're going to change this to Dropbox because that's where our, our thing is. And then we're going to have it uh, not show the document picker, but we're going to do, in fact, we can actually just copy this right here. So we copied that path from where we're saving our uh, journal file to. And then we're just going to do this right here. We're going to call the variable of adjust date because, again, we're pulling up the one from the day before. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get adjust date. And I did that right here. I'll show you guys again. I did it right here from the bottom. You can also hit this magic variable button and select adjust date. And we're going to want to make it match what we did with the date before when, we, when we're saving the file. So we're going to want to set the time to none and the date format to medium. So that way it pulls exactly the same thing. And then we'll pull dash journal dot PDF. Dot PDF. Okay. And then we're going to have it do quick look. So now if we run this, shows yesterday's and then gives us a new one to write on and then it saves it so that's pretty cool so this is a pretty interesting shortcut that uses a bunch of different things it allows us to adjust the date we use some uh, variables it pulls from a template that we have saved in the files app pretty interesting stuff I did take it a step further so if you come in here to launch Center pro um, if you watched my previous video on how to get shortcuts to run automatically, I set a notification to go at 6.10 a.m. So this is about the time I'm done with my mini review and my task manager. So I kind of have an idea of what I need to do. So now I can sit down and write what I actually need and want to get done today. This is kind of like my goals for the day.
that's kind of it with everything here. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Uh, Overall, I think this is a pretty interesting shortcut. Uh, I know my handwriting is atrocious, uh, but I think with the new Apple Pencil and stuff coming out, this might be kind of fun to kind of sit down and play around with. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.